In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve your Wi-Fi hotspot on your iPhone for free. Yo, what's up boys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Tony Twin, back at it again. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the simple tips that I used in order to improve my Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, usually the Wi-Fi hotspots that we use are used for like a computer or one device. I do suggest using it on only one device, but I understand if you have multiple devices. All the steps I have in the video, they're going to be the simpler ones in the beginning and the more harder ones at the end. So make sure to stay for the whole video in order to get one last thing before we get into it. I'd like to shout out Covert Apps Discord. So I don't know if you guys know what Covert Apps is, but we basically find applications like movie apps, anime apps, live streaming tv and all that sort of stuff so if you guys are interested in finding those on the app store for free all you have to do is go ahead and click the link and it'll take you there but yeah without any further ado let's go ahead and get right into it so the first thing i want you guys to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on cellular as well as turn off the turn off and on a uh, personal hotspot so make sure you turn them off and turn them back on so sell your data turn it off turn it on and personal hotspot turn it off turn it on so next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take off the running applications in the background and the reason why I want you to do this is because the more things that are using your iPhone's resources, the more likely other things like other processes are going to be slower. So for example, if you have like a million apps running in the background and you're trying to download something, it's going to be slower just because your iPhone can't maximize its software as well as its hardware because it's being used up. So we're going to go ahead and remove all the running apps in the background. So I only have these two. So when using a hotspot, I do suggest you plug in your iPhone just because you the iphone what it does is it tries to do anything in order to save battery so when it's plugged in it doesn't have to do that so i'd say just keep it plugged in and when you're using it to, to get the best use case for your iphone make sure your iphone is not in direct sunlight so usually when we're driving or we're out on the road it's indirect sunlight and you kind of get to notice that the phone starts to get hot when it gets too hot by itself it starts to slow down like you can see the iphone lag it becomes slower everything in general becomes slower because the iphone is trying to use less hardware in order for it to to not bring out an excess amount of heat next step is try not to download anything in the background so if you're downloading something from netflix or off the internet um, you're definitely going to have lower speeds just because your iPhone in general is using up the internet. Alright, so those are the tips that you don't really have much to do with settings. Now the rest of these tips are going to be more hands-on, so get ready. So what I want you to do is we're going to check our background app refresh settings. So if you don't know what that is, if you look up background, there's app refresh. And what it basically means is like things will refresh in the background without you having to open the app. So for example let's say you get a, a text message from someone it's going to refresh by itself because it's um it, you didn't have to go in and click refresh it re the app refresh by itself which is why it's on here somewhere so what i suggest you do is turn off things that do not need the background app refresh so things that you don't need at all like you barely use or things that you check constantly so if you're on instagram already you might want to turn off background app refresh since you go in there enough anyways yeah so less app refresh means your device has more resources for other things to use like the hotspot or uh things like the speed of your phone um stuff like that so i'd say use this background refresh background app refresh to your advantage and for our final step we're gonna re we're going to refresh the ram on our iphone so what you guys want to do is you're going to need this little toggle here um, in order to get that, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So all you have to do is go to settings, go to accessibility. All right. Next, we're going to go to touch, accessive touch, and then turn it on and your toggle will appear. So you're going to see why we need this in a second. So what you're going to do is for this process to restart the RAM, you're going to press volume up then volume down and then hold the power button. So it's going to be up, down, hold the power button. And now this is going to appear. So next, what you need to do is tap your little home button and then hold the home button. And now that it asks for your passcode again, that tells us that our RAM on our iPhone has been refreshed. So basically, if you don't know what RAM is, RAM is basically memory that gets used up very fast and erased very fast. So it's like constantly being um, something. It's, con it's like constantly information being stored and then erased really fast. So like if you clear your RAM and you have a bunch of apps running in the background, something like your game call of duty can run better on it because of that so yeah once you do all these different things you should see a difference in your speeds you should even notice a difference in your iphone speed like it lagging less and stuff like that but yeah 
that is basically it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy please be sure to let me know in the comment section if it did help you and if not let me know how i can improve for next time have a great day see you in the next one peace